things have uh, things have not been going well. So I've run into some problems with the print, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the issues that I've run into. There have been more than a few. And I'll, I'll kind of go over them one at a time. To start off with, uh, I do want to say that I haven't given up, and I'm going to continue the project. I'm not totally put off by what's happened, but... I am a little frustrated, to say the least, uh, but I will be moving forward with it. I'm going to cut to uh, a earlier me with a little more optimism and a crappier camera to describe the first of a myriad of print failure issues. First, uh, we'll start off with some news about the 3D printed gem project. Uh, not all of it's good news. Uh, it had a print failure occur about five days in on the initial print, which was not a fault of the slice or of the machine. It was completely user generated, I'm sad to say. Uh, the 3D runout sensor on the printer, the plug got disconnected when I was switching color tools. And I didn't notice. And the printer just chugged along fine printing with it. Uh, when I did notice it, I wanted to pause the print and start switching out the uh, PLA manually and reconnect the runout sensor so I don't have to manually watch it like you would without a runout sensor. And sadly, I made a very rookie mistake and it's an easy thing to do with any interface, especially with Marlin when you've got one of those twisty button knobs where you're twisting and pushing. I twisted a bit too far and I sent the command and the command wasn't to pause the print, but to stop the print. Five days in, and it stopped. Heartbreaking, but at least it was with PLA that I didn't pay for myself, but yeah, heartbreaking nonetheless. Yeah. Five days in and could put. Second print failure, not my fault. Uh, it was about 15 days in and the power went out. Yeah, so I thought I'd had it plugged into a UPS battery backup. Uh, the battery backup was plugged into power. Unfortunately, the outlet that I had connected the printer to was not, in fact, plugged into battery backup so uh power went out and apparently this printer does not have a uh, resume on power failure which i thought it did but i had found out the hard way it does not so this is where we got 15 days in and that is about the end of my free pla uh, so I had some cool neon green stuff that I, I decided I was going to give a shot and that was going great. No problems. And, uh, finished a spool, went to go change the spool out. Filament runout sensor did its job. And, uh, when I went to load the new filament spool, it started to heat the hot end and I got an error message on the screen that said that it was unable to reach the target temperature. Please reset the printer. So it failed again. And, um, turns out that was kind of, that was kind of a foreshadowing of what was to come to try and curb that from happening again. I got a three kilogram spool of PLA and I got about five days into that print. And uh, when I came home from work, print was stopped. And it had an error message on the screen about thermal runaway. And I was like, ah, oh, man, here we go. So just to do some basic troubleshooting, I pulled the now defunct print off of the print bed and just tried to do a simple print test, something small. And uh, it started to heat and got to about 209 and the target was 215 and it got to 208 and then it started falling 
207, 206, 203, and then boop, thermal runaway error. So it looks like the printer heater cartridge has managed to give up the ghost. I uh, went ahead and already uh, reached out to Formbot and ordered a replacement part. Um, when I was on their website, originally I was just going to go and get a, uh, a heater cartridge, but when I got to the website, I noticed they had a all metal hot end replacement. So it was an upgraded heat sink and a copper block, titanium heat break, and a uh, tool steel, uh, stainless steel nozzle. And uh, I, they also had them in different sizes too. So I made the decision to change over since I was, since I was going to be upgrading the uh, hot end anyhow to move from away from the uh, 0.04 nozzle size to a 0.06, which means I can print less wall layers, uh, wall perimeters, and that'll speed up the print speed a bit. Uh, also, doing some research, I found that slightly larger uh, nozzle makes for more sturdy parts, so that'll hopefully make things a little bit sturdier. I'm also reconsidering my decision about using 100% infill. With all of the print failures that I've had and the amount of time that it's causing, I'm thinking I might dial that back to half. I might dial, I'd give it a go at 50% which will again, uh, hopefully give me the rigidity that I need. Plus at some point when I'm finishing the guitar, I'm gonna be uh, coating it in uh, UV resin, which will also add some structural integrity to it, but uh, it'll also speed up the print again. Hopefully hedging our bets here and getting us to the point where we have a complete infill. But for now, um, I'm on hold waiting for parts. Hopefully they'll get here by middle of next week. And uh, I should hopefully be printing again by uh, at the latest Friday. And uh, I hope to be able to make a update video, uh, hopefully a couple days after that, showing some progress with the, the actual print on the printer. Anyways, that's where I'm at for the moment. Um, I'm sorry about the delay in getting something up for a second video. This is not how I wanted to spend my second video, I wanted to spend my second video talking about all of the cool stuff that I was going to, you know, connect up to it. You know, how I was going to source the electronics, where I got the, uh, you know, the the parts that I that I got, why I chose the parts that I got, all of that stuff. So that'll come in a later video, probably, hopefully, <laughs> the next one, if not the one after. But uh, for now, uh, we'll, we're going to wait it out until we get the parts and then we'll make the fixes. So... Please stay tuned. I'm working around issues that apparently I have little to no control over. Um, thanks again for watching. Be well. Have a good evening.